what's going on what's going on everyone who is watching this show i'm pretty excited because guess what i'm back with another amazing two comma club interview today guys so first of all everyone who's watching this welcome to the nikhil sai show which is hosted by me the nikhil sai and guess what's going on today i'm pretty excited for this interview because i'm getting one of the craziest guy when it comes to e-commerce space and everyone who is running an e-commerce business they really lose a lot of sales on the go right a lot of sales on the table just like that and they don't even realize it you know what i mean but this guy is helping literally people make millions extra by just having some simple hack inside your business so this is going to be a super valuable interview so let's not waste any time let's welcome yovan stoyanovic co-founder at ecom phone sales hey yovan Hey, what's up, Nikhil? Super excited for this, buddy. How was your day so far? Uh, I'm doing great, man. I'm doing great, and happy to be here, man. Beautiful day here in Mexico, and yeah, man, life is beautiful. Awesome, buddy. Yeah, pretty excited to see your journey. Like, it was so interesting, right? Like, can you please start with your backstory, your one? We would love to hear, like, how did this all started? Like, you know, when it comes to e-commerce and every other business, people just keep it like, oh, you know what? It's just tired. One country is just participating in that, and you know, not a lot of people can know this stuff. But it's pretty interesting to know your story, your one. So, would you like to start with your story? Mm -hmm. Sure, man. Yeah, um, yeah, man. I I got into e-commerce um, a while ago. Actually, that's the funny thing. I got into e-commerce the first time I got into e-commerce was 2016. Mm -hmm. So this is five years ago. Wow. Um, so I drop out of school. I fly to Thailand because I want to start an e-com business, and I want um, I'm hoping to meet a mentor there. My last mm -hmm. week in Thailand, I meet a guy there who's crushing mm -hmm. it in the e-commerce space. He suggests I launch this one product. I was about to. I was already like done with like ecom. I already tried it for like three months. I was ready to give up. I meet this dude. He's like, "Yo, you should try this product." I was like, eh, "I'm kind of like ready." To, I, I'm like, "Man," he's like, "Yo, like you should, yeah. you should try this." I go home mm -hmm. that night, dude. Take this in. I set up a, a, a just a simple page. I don't even have. Mm -hmm. a, I just use PayPal. I set up a PayPal button. I launched this product. I launched twenty bucks in ads. Next day, I wake up with a hundred dollars um, in sales. I was shitting Ooh. my pants, dude. Yeah, <laughs> that's a great experience for sure. That's crazy. That's crazy. And yeah. so, and so, basically, throughout that week, man, um, I scaled my first e-commerce business. I uh, ended up doing like seventy-five grand in like ten days. That was really cool. Um, a couple months after yeah. that, the whole thing collapses, dude. So the whole thing collapses. My ad account gets shut down. I can't find any new winning products. Blah 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 blah. So I decide to leave the e-commerce space completely. I'm like, this is done. Like it's too difficult. So I just leave. And then, dude, I didn't go back into e-commerce until mm -hmm. four years later. Until last year. I did not go back into e-commerce. Oh, that's crazy! Mm -hmm. That's really interesting. And, and how did and you actually got back into e-commerce again? And what did you do in the gap? Like you had like a three to four right. years gap. Like what so, were you doing? So the three four gap, my friend, that's where the two comma club award comes in. Okay. There you so, go. So yeah. So basically, after e-commerce, I got into different things. One of which was um, social media marketing. The other, which was the info business. So. Um, after e-commerce, we started our own marketing agency. People were asking, "Hey, like, how do how are you guys like doing your marketing agency?" Because um, we were having good results with it. So we launched a course for how to start your own marketing agency. This was in 2019, 2018, actually, and mm -hmm. that blew up, dude. That blew up. Um, the first like six months, we were just growing it organically. Month seven, we're like, "Yo, like all the big boys are doing webinars. Maybe we should try a webinar." And so yeah. we launched the webinar, man. We launched a webinar. We get our first sale within 24 hours, and then ended up doing a million dollars in 53 days with that info business, man. Ooh, there you go, <laughs> right? So life can really change in a snap when you just know what's really working in your business. Absolutely. In a snap, dude. In a snap. And and the crazy thing is, man, this is and this is this this is why it's really funny. That million dollars in 53 days, man. We didn't innovate anything there. We literally went. We looked at who are the people winning right now. What kind of mm -hmm. webinars are they running? We found mm -hmm. a competitor who had the same offer as us, so mm -hmm. we literally analyzed I'm his webinar. Idea. We yeah. broke down all the components. We literally just made our own Google slide doc, mimicking the exact same structure. Mm -hmm. And then, what? Guess what? It worked. It worked. <laughs> <laughs> who would yeah. have thought? You know, when you copy what's working. Absolutely. So I think like that—that's the real key for any business. Like people who are just starting out with a new thing, right? They see the trend happening. That, but people really try to reinvent their own wheel. But that's not how it works. You really need to model what's working exactly what you did, right? And I genuinely believe like 2018 was a trend of webinars. It, it was a really huge 
with the webinars, right? So it was super exciting for that journey, bro. So yeah, now you're killing it with e-commerce space, making millions for your clients combinedly, which is awesome again. So let's get more into your e-commerce diving, which you are core expertise right now. So now like e-commerce is kind of, you know, more like guru stuff happened like in 2019, like a lot of people were teaching people how to do e-commerce and it became more saturated, right? Now the main problem is as you are already helping dozens of e-commerce businesses, right? You know, for a fact, e-commerce has become more saturated, right? It's really hard to stand out, to be honest, right? So as your expertise is in e-commerce, like how do you think a store can stand out and be successful with the rest of the competition in 2021, especially? Right, man. That That's a huge question. That's a huge question. Um, yeah, man. Um, e-commerce is no longer what it used to be. And when when I first started, man, you you could get like this, like rookies could literally get seven to eight X return on ad spends. I was getting an eight X return on ad spend um, back in 2016, 2017. Nowadays, yeah. man, if you're getting a two X, if you're getting a three X, you're screaming, you're jumping for joy, man. That's how difficult it is nowadays with, with paid traffic and the amount of competition. So gone are the days where you can just throw up a Shopify, link a few AliExpress products and launch like one, vi one, one video Facebook ad. Like that used to be structured before. That's no longer, it's no longer a feasible model. Absolutely. So, so, so yeah, so today um, to stand out, well, that's when it comes down to doing all the things that um, it's, it's, it's doing the things that your competitors aren't doing, number one. And number two, it's making sure that you're covering all your bases and collecting the low-hanging fruit. Those are the biggest yeah. things. Um, like when you look at a lot of e-commerce brands, um, um, let's say new ones that are new guys in the, in, the, in the field who are just trying to get started and they're trying to make some money, they're making a couple thousand, but they're kind of figuring it out. They don't have great customer service, man. They don't, have great, they don't have great shipping times. They don't have great branding. They don't have great products. They don't have a million of these things, which they're so they're like minuscule micro little things, but it's, it's the accumulation of if you get all of them right, then you have then you actually have a chance of, of standing out um, as an e-commerce brand. And so that's that's one of the things that um, that we can't relentlessly work on with our own e-commerce brands, because we also have our phone sales um, service, but our, we also have our own e-commerce brands. And, and that's wow. the biggest thing, man, It's trying to just optimize like the things that other people are going to just kind of not even think about. Exactly. And, and, and genuinely believe like a lot of drop shippers or people who are trying e-commerce, they should really understand the fundamentals which you just mentioned. It's not about collecting the cash by running ads. It's more about building a real brand by making sure the product quality and the service quality is up to the mark. Right. And that's how you can really build a long term sustainable store. Then just yeah. putting a Facebook ad and then Zoom kicks you in, like even with the iOS 14 update, crazy right. shit is happening with Facebook. So hope everything will be fine quickly. So, yeah, that, that's really amazing. Amazing, Yohan. So people really need to understand the essence of how you have done it and can really help a lot of people who are actually implementing these strategies just right now in their business. And but like it's really crazy, right? Like if you think of the journey, right? Like you did e-commerce and you, you know, you lost something, you you got irritated with the e-commerce, then got into webinar space, made a million bucks within just 53 days. Like, would you like to talk about the journey? Like, how was the journey of hitting a two CC in 53 days? Like, how did you scale it up that quickly, man? Like, I don't find so many people doing this. Like, I've seen people, dozens of them, they took years to hit that million dollar mark. Yeah. Which you have done in just 53 days, which is crazy again. Um, yeah, dude. I I I love to um bring you back to, to that moment um but just before i do yeah man like the like the million dollars in 53 days that's uh, it's not it's definitely not the fastest click funnels um award but at the time yeah. it was it was definitely one of the fastest like it was one of the fastest there might have been like maybe one maybe two guys um who did faster, it, did it faster at that time yeah this was um yeah we got that in what 20 well, we, we claimed the award in 2019 or 2020. I'm not sure. But anyways, man, yeah. Mm -hmm. So so to, to, to answer your question there, man, yeah. Um, just picture this, man. Like picture your... So I have um, my brother who's my business partner. And we also have Quentin who's our third business partner. So there's three of us. And so mm -hmm. imagine this, man. You're in Thailand with your homies. Um, you're working on this webinar. You launched the webinar. And this is like New Year's Eve, by the way. We launched it like the night, a couple nights before New Year's Eve, right? So you launch your webinar, you get your first sale in 24 hours. You're like, holy shit, we just spent three weeks on this webinar. Yeah. We got one sale. This fucking works. It's gonna work. Um, and then so, and then so here's the here's the thing, right? Um, so for the first for the week after that, right, we didn't get a single sale after that first sale. Okay, so we Ooh. got one sale and then no sales for the next six days. And when we were so devastated, we're like, we're like, damn, like we thought we had it, like 
what? Like, it was just like, like a lucky sale. So take this in. Here's what yeah. we did, man. Here's what we did. We go back in the webinar. We, we were asking for 997. We take that 997. We slash it in half. We drop it to 497. We Ooh. re upload the webinar instantly, instantly. 5x row us, 4x row us, 6x row us. Every day, every day, boom, boom, boom. And so, and so at this point, we're now in Bali. A week, a week later, we, we moved to Bali. And yeah, dude, like there, it was literally, it was literally bananas, bro. Like we were literally spending $13,000. We were getting back $38,000, man. That was our highest, our highest day. It was $38,000 with a $13,000 ad spend. Crazy. And so, and so every day, like, dude, we were like, when we started scaling and by the way, for anyone wondering, um, this was YouTube ads. Okay. This was YouTube ads. That's, that's, Crazy. that was, that was a big, key. A big yeah. thing and big key. Cause at that time, this was, you know, two years ago, everyone's still on Facebook. Everyone's trying to like, you know, Facebook, Instagram, this and that, like, nah, screw that. I'm done with Facebook. I haven't advertised on Facebook now in, two, in, in like a long time, dude. I don't waste my time with that. I don't, awesome. I don't, I don't waste time with banned ad accounts. I don't waste time with ad disapprovals. <laughs> I got more important shit to do. So I don't deal with Facebook. <laughs> So we yeah. were scaling on YouTube, man. YouTube is 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 a beast, man. No no ad disapprovals, man. You can say whatever you want basically on YouTube. You can <laughs> scale your budgets. It's like yeah. a dream come true. And so 100%. and so and, and so that's what that's what we're doing. We were just up the budgets, man. It was still profitable. We kept up in the budgets, spending 13 a day, getting 38 back. And and yeah, man, it was we were literally working like from we would wake up at seven, man, and I'd go to bed at like two a.m. And I would literally just be working the whole day like that for like the span of like five or six weeks because literally we had no systems, man. All we had was the front end webinar, like a kind of like a pro, like a we had our course, which which could could be much better. And, but mm -hmm. no systems, like no email set up, no like zaps, nothing like making yeah. sure people are getting their access, no customer mm -hmm. support. None of that was in place, man. And so, so that's why like the, the first, the first set of like, the first one month or two was, was just a huge, huge, just time investment. Like literally every day, man, like the 14, <laughs> 15, 16 hours a day fixing everything. And, and then, yeah, man. Wow. That's that's a crazy journey. And again, to mention like you three guys literally without any team handle a million dollars in sales, which is crazy. Again, with no system again, with no system, yeah, with no yeah. pre scroll selling experience and all of that cool jazz. And it's really amazing. Like when we really look at this digital business model, uh, especially it was so profitable. And, and I love the point you mentioned, like don't get, you know, slapped by Zook every single day. Just rely on more reliable traffic sources there are tons of traffic sources out there like facebook is not just the one thing like it's overrated i definitely mean it facebook is amazingly overrated it's not the only traffic source you saw you one who made like 53 days just in that short time frame scaled it to million dollars easy just need to have a winning webinar that's it right and that's a crazy genuine we really that really inspired a lot to me especially and also maybe hundreds of people who will definitely watch this podcast again. So that will be really like, you know, inspiration for them be like, oh, you know what? My day is going to come. I'm going to just keep consistent and build out my systems like just what you one did, right? Which is awesome again. So you yeah, let's get back to more into e-commerce space. Now, like I see like you guys have a company called Ecom Phone Sales, which is amazing again, right? So like you guys have a different strategies to increase, you know, the average order value and decrease refunds, right? So would you like to talk about like the best ways to increase average order values and decrease the more refunds which is happening in e-commerce right now? Definitely, man. Definitely. So we're doing something that no other e-commerce brand is doing and we've been doing this now for about a year a year now um yeah one year and that is calling our abandoned carts to get them back to finish their orders that is calling our customers to upsell them and that is calling pissed off customers who are demanding refunds saying they're going to go to their bank and issue a chargeback calling those people too and basically what we discovered is a uh, couple things. One, you can make a lot more money with your e-commerce brand if you are calling your customers and abandoned carts. Um, we add an extra to, um, anywhere from like for our own brands. We've added up to um, there's been days where the, the phone revenue has been up to 33 percent of the total daily revenue. Ooh. Yeah. Which is a big boost, man. Like when you're struggling with your ad spend, Crazy, when you're trying yeah. to get good ROAS, that's a big mm -hmm. boost, man. Uh, typically, though, we, we hit around 10 to 20 percent, though of additional revenue um for for our for our brands um and that's just an extra boost in money man so so you get more so here's the thing so you get more revenue not only do you get more revenue when you get people on the phone you get higher aovs if your average mm -hmm. order value on your store is a hundred dollars 
on the phone, you can easily get double. You can easily get 130, 150, 200, which is once again, a lot more than what you're getting on your store. So in, the, in, in today's media buying markets, where it's just so difficult, you need every, and this is what I was telling you at the beginning, you need to do what other people aren't doing. You need to find a way to differentiate yourself and get the low hanging fruit. And I'm, I'm telling you right now, every single e-commerce store has hundreds, thousands of phone numbers, which they haven't called a single time. True. 100%. Why is that? Why is that, Nikhil? Why is no one? They don't really have an idea. They, they don't even know that they can actually make this sort of money from that. They don't know. Yeah. <laughs> right. Right. They don't know what they don't know. So so yeah, man. That's that, that's what we've been doing, and um and so it's been working so well for us. And just like a few months ago, we realized, dude, no one else is doing this. Why don't we launch this as a service to other successful e-commerce brands? And so that's what we did. That's when ecomphonesales.com is basically. If you're an, if you if you have an e-commerce brand and you're making over five thousand bucks a day, um, anywhere from five thousand to a hundred thousand a day, you can basically um, we can give you phone sales agents who are trained for e-commerce to call your abandoned carts, get them back um, to buy, mm -hmm. and to also uh, call your customers and basically upsell them additional products or cross-sell them uh, different bundles. That's completely amazing but and if you really understand the flow of the business model like you literally only spend the money it could be youtube ads it could be facebook ads you spend the money to collect the data and you got the orders that's it now you're basically making two times three times money like three ris and all that cool jazz but if you really want to make it profitable the existing data you have just leverage it with phone system right exactly. and that's a brilliant idea right like you, they can just literally add in 30 percent extra 20 percent on an average which is which can really fund their business to the next level Right, which can really fund their business to the next level. Yeah, yeah, man. Um, and I was just telling this to my um to my buddy. Um, he has a he has a great e-commerce brand. They're doing um, uh, how much are they doing? They're doing like fifteen thousand a day. So I don't know, like half a million a month, something like that. And Ooh. um, and and he, he was just telling me like um, he was saying like I would struggle this and that. And I was and I was just telling him, dude, like I think the future of e-commerce is this hybrid model of of e-commerce plus the human touch, which is the phone sale. Like I think this new hybrid, this is a, this is a new model, man. We've discovered a new model. I'm calling it the hybrid awesome. model. And, yeah. and I think that's the future, man. And not only that, dude, there, there are specific types of products. This is the other thing, there's mm -hmm. specific types of products, um, different niches, different, different offers, e-commerce products slash offers basically, which you can actually, you can, you can actually get your AOV can be up to, 500 to 600% more. Um, That's yeah. bold and amazing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not saying this works for every product of a brand, but we have, for example, right now we have two brands where the AOV on the web store was around 50 to $60. And so that same product being sold to, to the customer, let me specify, this is a customer who purchased the mm -hmm. product for 50, $60. Yeah. Getting that customer on a call and we structure this as a specialist, by the way. When we call customers, we're not calling them as salespeople. That's ridiculous. We are specialists mm -hmm. calling them to see if there's anything we can do to further assist yeah. them, mm -hmm. um, to make them any recommendations, so on. And so with this one product that for the longest time, we were just selling for $50, $60 on the store, AOV, that's it. We now discovered that on the phone, calling a customer who already bought it, we can sell a package. We can sell bundles of this product for 400, 500, 600, 1,000, our highest so far is $1,464. Ooh, like you literally took the average order value from 50 bucks by just adding a phone sale in between and literally even 20x, like 30x it, right? Literally, which was awesome. Literally, literally. But, but here's the thing. This has to be a product, I told you it's specific. So it has to be a product that solves a certain type of problem. It has to yeah. it has to solve or, or a problem or a perceived problem. So, for example, if someone's struggling with acne, for example, that's a mm -hmm. product that I could see this doing um, very well with, and that's actually one of the products that I'm, I'm planning to launch soon to, to test this mm -hmm. to test that same formula, basically. But awesome. but yeah, man, um, the phone the the phone is a crazy thing, man. The phone is a crazy thing. Absolutely, and yeah, like I definitely agree with that point, Yohan. Like. You can't really sell shit, right? People may buy once, but they're never going to come back again if you just give them some random stuff for the amount they paid. There should be like a real problem solving product or service you offer to build a real brand. And like what you just mentioned is really mind boggling, your one. Like you really created that hybrid model, which I've never seen personally in e commerce sale, which is amazing. Again, and even if you look at the coaching consulting industry, that's the same thing happening like in 2018, 2019 webinars for the killers. But if you see in 2021, no one is really trying to do webinars right now. They're trying to get appointments because they want more human touch right now, uh -huh. more than just 
getting them on order bumps because right. people are not ready to pay on you know just like that on a page they need right. some human touch right now and it's really becoming more hybrid digital marketing you know solutions for every company now and then which is awesome again yeah so that's awesome but so let's get into the next question you want like you are really crazy like you scale your business to the next level and helping other people managing all these clients managing your own e-com stores then b- coming up with the new strategies to scale up and you know doing every single thing like you have a lot of stuff on play right and i wonder like how do you manage all of this stuff like any tools or you know how do you exactly manage your product you know projects and clients for productivity um yeah man um do you want to talk software or do you want to talk um both. strategy like strategy yeah, yeah strategy man. and software is both yeah, yeah man great question so i'll tell you um we'll, t- we'll talk software um after this um so so but in terms of um so so the first thing is you have to have a good team okay your, your team is very important i used to be for a very long time i was a solo entrepreneur i would hire like a logo maker on fiverr every now and then but there comes a point in time where you realize that um you know you need a team and so building a team a high quality team um and managing a team that's pretty, pretty challenging. So when it comes to managing, since that's what you asked, um, so I'm going to assume that, for example, someone already has a team. Um, one mm-hmm. of the big breakthroughs that we had actually um, last month when it comes to team management is a is a virtual office. So basically, when people start working for us at 8 a.m., they are required to, to join the daily Zoom call. When they join the daily Zoom call, they're required to have their camera on for the duration of the time they're working. So it's like we have all of our 10 agents, for example, if one person's managing 10 agents, all 10 people or 11, all 11 people are on that Zoom call from 8 a.m. until 5 p.m. And this has this has skyrocketed um, the amount of stuff that we get done and also the productivity of the team. Because when you have 10 people, man, and, and if, you're not, if you're not watching them, dude, it's very easy for them to, to go take a cigarette break, they go bathroom breaks, they go for lunch, they don't even tell you they're going, they come back, they're yeah. texting on their, like, dude, there's so many things, so many, so many things. But when, you, when you're seeing everyone's there, everyone's physically present, then, then you can, then you know that you, you got a good flow. Um, so, so that's been a huge breakthrough for us that happened last month. Um, it's been really great in terms of software, man. So I'm a big software guy. I love software. I love tools. Um, I don't, mm-hmm. I don't particularly code, um, but I'm very familiar with, um, data, um, and, and Zapier, um, and webhooks and, and stuff like that. Um, so when it comes to software, man, there is one, so we use Slack number one for, for business communication. Um, mm-hmm. that's what's a big thing, but I'm going to give you a gem man. I'm going to give you a gem right now. Not a lot of people. Not a lot of people still know about this. Okay, I mean it's a big software, but I don't see. I I don't know a lot of people that use it. Man, it, it's this literally, man. This one software has literally changed our business. I, I can't even describe to you, man. Um, and not all every business, dude. I've, I've we've been using this for now a year and a half now. We started this with a marketing agency. It works great for e-commerce. It works great for info. It literally works amazing for whatever business you have. And the software mm-hmm. is called Airtable.com. Airtable.com. Wow. Have you ever heard of it? Yeah, I've never heard of it probably. Like I'm just uh-huh. like more of this ClickUp and Trello guy. Then right. the Airtable thing is new for me actually. Cool. Play. Airtable, it's it's kind of like ClickUp, but not quite. It's more of a it's similar, but it's more of a data, it's more of a database for your business, man. So for example, um, let's say um let me give you an example. Like, like if I like where's your if I ask you Nikhil, where's your where's your business data? How do you answer that question? That would be super awkward for me to answer because I don't really have like a system to, you know, analyze that and just, you know, come up with that within seconds. I can't really right. do that with the current system I have. Yeah. Right. And your data is all over the place, right? Your your ad spend is in Facebook. Your revenue yeah. is in Stripe. Your customers are probably <laughs> on your notes. I don't even know. Well, with Airtable, yeah, true. with Airtable, at a first glance, man, it just looks like a Google Sheet. And that's basically what it is. It, 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 it's, um, it's a Google Sheets on steroids. And so basically you can build an entire, you can build a database of your whole business in one place, man. So for example, with us, we have clients, you have all of your payments, you have all of your suppliers, you have all of your products, you have all of your, um, all of your staff members, you have, um, all of your refunds logged, all of the transactions, um, um, what all, all of your t- all of your internal tickets, for example, when a salesperson passes a ticket to a customer support team or vice versa, the tickets get created. All, all of that, bro. Like literally every piece of data of our business, whether it's for our e-commerce business, whether it's for our marketing agency, every piece of data is in this one place. 
So, and that really helps us to be super productive because now we don't need to be mumble jumble between 100 different softwares. We can just come into this one software, Airtable.com, and they can, then you can just literally start working on it, which is amazing again. And that's so amazing, brother. And, and I really love the Zoom hack, which you just mentioned. Personally, I'm going to try it as well with my VA team. <laughs> and hopefully uh -huh. it will definitely work out. Yeah, so I yeah think that's try a it, man. Great, try yeah, it. That's a ridiculous idea. Like, it was so basic to understand, but I'm like, oh, I've never tried that even. I've, I've never even thought of it. I, and I genuinely right. believe it can easily add up 20 to 30% yeah. productivity to the world. 100%. Because 100%. 100%. 100%. they're going to be more accountable because they're on camera, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> they exactly. Can't, they can't text their girlfriend. Yeah. I, I, want, I, want, I, want, I want you to message me in like a week and let me know how it's been. 100 percent i'm yeah, gonna yeah, definitely yeah. do that yo yeah. yeah i appreciate that oh, that's a golden <laughs> nugget for me so let's get to the next question Johan. so like like i'm really curious for your suggestion about the new generation who are getting into this business e-commerce and who are who are getting to that shiny object thing right so what will be your suggestion to a 20 year old you or someone who's just getting started right now in the business uh-huh um well, uh, a lot of people getting started, man. Um, one thing I notice is they're not really um, like they don't have full confidence in themselves. Like they don't believe in themselves like 100 percent. They might believe in themselves like 30 percent. They might believe in themselves like 80 or like 90 percent. Um, yeah. But it's it's, it's it, that's very different than believing in yourself 100 percent. And that's the biggest thing with young people is like they're so they're so they're so they're they're new. I mean, I'm still young, man. You're still young, but they're very brand new to to like all of this. And mm -hmm. um. And so confidence is super important. One of the big things that I've, I'm still learning to, to learn um, is, and, and this is what I would also tell young people, is that you have to realize that all the rules in the world, they were just, they're just made up. So whatever, True, yeah. whatever rules, whatever, whatever um, limitations you think are there, um, whatever laws are there, um, whatever structure you think you, ha you have to follow or you had to follow growing up or whatever all that is, um, all of that, all of that is just simply, it's all made up. And so that's been a big struggle, struggle for me as well as, as a blessing because as I've been just breaking barrier after barrier after barrier, that's when I realized this. And, and, and the whole time it was like, I didn't know that was possible because I thought that was a rule. I thought that was a thing that, you know, I can't just go from here to here. Or I thought that, you know, you have to do this, this and that. It's not. Those are just made up things. And so what I would suggest to, to young people is to really start seeing, um, trying to see, um, change the perspective on, on life and being and, and just see that a lot of the things that you think are real aren't actually real and, and they're actually illusions. 100% true. And that's so deep message. I love it, Johan, once again. Like, it's so deep. Like, people who can really understand, they're going to take their shit to the next level, right? Like, it, it's really that deep. Like, you, if you really understand, like, that all these mind limitations you had is just what you observe yourself, but nothing really exists. Like, to give you an example, like once we start making $100 a day, we'll be like, wow, I can never make this much money. But once you crack that $1,000 a day, you'll be like, freak. Like I'm a millionaire, like you literally feel that. But once you get into that $10,000 a day, you'll be like, whoa, right? Like, but, but again, like the money you make or the impact you make is just what your mind conceives or right. achieve, right? Like, like who's to say that, who's to say that it's, it's, it's like, it's difficult to make like a million dollars or who's to say it's difficult yeah. to make a billion dollars? Like. Who's the same? No man? One. Like, like it's literally us, right? Like we we literally look at our parents and then decide, like, okay, they're just making a couple of hundred bucks. Now it's time for me to make thousands. Right. That's it. They, they right. have limits for it, right? Right. It's right. not the right way. Yeah, man. That's it's amazing. a big mental yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah, and I genuinely believe a lot of people should actually learn this, especially from mentors who can actually help them with, right? Gu give the right guidance, like what you're doing on this podcast show right now, which is pretty amazing. They just really need to understand who they are you know hanging out with and that can really level yeah. up their mindset and can remove all the borders they have that's amazing yeah man know. i agree man they should hang out with cool people like like they should hang out with you you know you're a pretty cool guy man like i'm, I'm enjoying <laughs> hanging out with you right now <laughs> awesome but like me too like i really love the vibe we are having on this conversation it, it's like an old friend talking to me right, right now right it really, <laughs> right? Is, it really is man. yeah Absolutely appreciate that, Johan. So let's get to the next question, buddy. Like in this young age, like you're not super old right now, but you've achieved so many big things, right? So what are your biggest achievements so far in life and any bigger goals next? Um, yeah, man, I was thinking about that. Um, so you sent me that. Um, dude, my, my biggest achievement, dude, like I'm just happy to be here, man. Like just the fact that I've made it here this far, like 24 years later, man, like I'm still here, like I'm in one piece, like I made it because some call it some money. I'm not a billionaire, but I made some 
all right money like i'm still trying to make more i have good friends man i have a brother i have a family like do that that to me is like like what Grateful. more like do i need to achieve like that's yeah like and anything else is cherry on top man like at this point like i'm just i'm just happy and that's the thing man like i like like whether you think you've achieved a lot or whether you i think you've achieved small once again like what is big and what is small man it's all perspective yeah 100% right and and it's not about like having a billion dollars in bank but just about being more happy that you're you're purposeful and you're grateful for what you are today right and not not being anxious about tomorrow right which is so important in life again yeah yeah man 100% and just um and just like dude just like um going just going with the flow man like what's one thing to to be grinding 12 hours a day and and like just have your sole goal like i want to make like my goal is like i want to make $10,000 a day i'm going to do whatever it takes to get there that's fine. You know, that's fine. And I used to work like that for a long time and, and I saw results with that. But nowadays, man, my mind shift is very different. Nowadays, it's just like, I'm just here in the moment, man. I'm not too concerned about money. Um, I haven't logged into my bank account, man, in like in like months, man. Like it's probably been like five months since I like I don't check my bank account. I have Amazing. a CFO. You just like 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 I just try not to think about that. Um, and so and and, and yeah, man, that's that's the thing. Like people, you can you can grind twelve hours a day. That's fine. I've been there. It, it's one way of doing things. But then the other way is just is just being more in tune with with yourself and your surroundings. Um, and just realizing that great things are coming either way. That's awesome, you know, and that really makes a lot of sense for people who are just grinding. Just make sure you do it in the right way. Don't get so much burned out that you are going to quit again, right? Yeah. Just don't make that happen, right? And like, you can only win when you never quit, right? Well, so, well <laughs> yeah, absolutely, brother. So let's get into the next question. But so you're so young and built multiple businesses, helping a lot of clients, especially running an agency with e-commerce business and having these agents do phone calls and all of the crazy stuff, right? So what was your biggest mistake in life so far, like in business-wise, strategy-wise, anything? It's an illusion, man. There, there's no such thing as a mistake, man. That's an illusion. So once again, it's, it's a, you ask that question with with the thought that that the mistake's real, but what? Like, I, I, I'm pretty sure that mistakes are illusions, man, because you have your you have an action, and then you have your your reaction or your outcome. That's that's all there is. There's an action and there's an outcome. A mistake. Yeah. That's just that's just an interpretation of the outcome. So you might be very pissed off at the outcome. But that's just mm -hmm. that's just how you're choosing to react to it. Or you can be yeah. very happy and pleased about the outcome. And that's once again your choice of how you're going to react. So when I look at that, what's the biggest mistake in my life? I don't think I've made a s I don't think I, I haven't made one, man. It's, it's not possible. Wow. Pretty interesting, Joe. And I know when I when I'm on a conversation with you for 30 minutes long right now, I really feel you are so mindful on understanding the life and you know all the interactions happening and the momentum which is going on which is pretty amazing like you are not in a smaller vision you are having a bird's eye view on what's going on in your life right like that's really amazing like i believe you are one of those few people i know personally who have this sort of mindset right so which is pretty amazing again <laughs> appreciate yeah. it you one yeah man so let's My get pleasure. into the next question buddy <laughs> yeah happy to hear that again so let's get into the next question buddy who are your main inspirations so far and key people involved in your success um, my main inspiration is for success. Yeah, inspiration and key people in dollar. Uh -huh. Both the uh -huh. Right. Uh, well, key people will be my business partners, man. Um, you know, they're great guys, man. And I, I, I could do this alone, but I'd rather not. <laughs> so having them there is great. Um, and in terms of inspiration for success, man, um, you know, the question is like, when people ask you, like, like why do you want to make so much money? You're like, well, why is it so important for you to, you know, like have this huge, like, why, like, why? My, my simple response thought that has always been like, why not? You're going to be yeah. here. You're going to be here anyways. So why mm -hmm. wouldn't you do that? Why, why, why wouldn't you, so you choose, man? You just get to choose, right? Like, why not? Um, and then so the other big thing that, that I realized, and this was more recently, um, this was actually um, this year that I realized is that, um, and this is what's really been driving me forward now, um, like as a main inspiration for success is, is just to make the, the world a better place, man vision That's i just awesome. like to make the world a better place man however that is and i know in order to do that um i can do that right now with 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 the things around me that's fine but um mm -hmm. another way to do it um in that larger scale is when you have a lot of a lot of um uh, capital available so in other words when you have a lot of money you can do greater greater and bigger things um to make the world a better place and so and so that's what i like to do man um and that's something i discovered like earlier this year like i was really just thinking about like what is my purpose here man? like why am i here like, like why am i here like why like, really just <laughs> thinking about it and then i realized yeah. man it's to make the world a better place absolutely and and the the, the vision is really great like 
you can't even stop thinking about it like it's more about purpose impacting people's lives and making this world be a better place for everyone who's going to be the upcoming generation right which is so awesome again and that's amazing amazing you one that's so kind of you and you have a great vision by the hope you'll achieve it super quickly and i love the sentence which you mentioned like money is is an illusion again it's just a resource which can help you to do something right like it you get you could buy good things you can buy shit you can invest it right way you can impact people you can donate it you can give back you can do a lot of things but it's just like a resource so don't keep it as a primary motivation right and i've i've never yeah. found a guy who is a millionaire who says money is his motivation never ever <laughs> right, right? right right yeah absolutely yeah. and this yeah. this is why people suck right like at their mindset they just be like yeah you know what first of all i want to make money then everything is elsewhere right but that's not how it works really right it's about purpose genuinely helping people the money follows automatically which is amazing yeah. again look man you can do it both ways i've done it both ways and i'm telling you man that second way that you just said where you're in it for like the long run you're there to help you're genuine and you're there to help people man way 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 better man and just much better more likely to succeed you're going to succeed stronger you're going to succeed harder and it's just a way better way to go about it yeah and the best thing is we have that subconscious thing in the head going around that we are genuinely impacting people's life in a positive way Right? right not about just ca- collecting the cash but you can see the end goal of what you're impacting people right. with your product right. service right which makes us great right. to live the end goal so and then also the chain reaction man the chain reaction is another thing it's like if i make if i make your life a little bit better then you're more likely to make someone else's life a little bit better you know 100% yeah that's the reciprocity thing which will really which is really learning you know making this world move on right that that's right. really working right. and it it really manifests day in day out every single day which is awesome again so let's get into the next question buddy this is kind of sum up right now so like you're so cool man you're one of the coolest guys i've ever found on the interview podcast right now so where wow, can man. our audience Thank find you mentoring <laughs> <laughs> uh well um they can go to uh, ecomphonesales.com uh, that's our website um but um in terms of mentoring i don't i don't have any sort of um paid mentoring or anything like that man i used to be like i told you with the webinar i used to be a guru and all that um i'm no longer an internet guru i just like to have a cool business man and help people so if anyone needs help they can just message me but um yeah man that's that's the mentoring i give man just reach out to me and let me see if i can help that's awesome you and that's that's something i really love you like you generally you genuinely have a purpose more than anyone else i really found and that's amazing you one glad we connected on this simple podcast and again any last words before we conclude the whole podcast session um no last words man other than just peace love and blessings there you go i'm going to give you some last words guess what's a viewer is saying like he's so cool and down to the earth <laughs> that's oh, a wow, great is that a live view, bro. Bro. oh that's from facebook wow man awesome that's yeah like people who are watching it are really loving the vibe of you man, wow, man. yo one thank you so much for the amazing opportunity brother thank you so much for your time thank you so much for sharing those amazing mindfulness strategies and all your business learnings you have done which is so wonderful again and appreciate your you know great insight on this complete world which is running right now and appreciate your time brother excited to speak to you again thank you man thank you amazing to be here and it's been a pleasure man thank you for having me awesome you and have a great day peace peace